Hello guys, Joe with Joe's Game and Tech Channel here. I'm going to show you how to install a modded version of Minecraft. Very simple process. We're going to use a launcher called MultiMC. So we're going to go to MultiMC's webpage, multimc.org, as you can see up here. And we are going to scroll down and we're going to download the Windows. If you're using Windows, if you're using a Mac, you'd want to use Mac. And then there's Linux. Supports all three operating systems. We're going to use Windows because it's obviously a Windows operating system. So you would download that file. I've already downloaded it, so I am not going to go through that process for you. Click on that. You would download that. Most likely goes to your download folder, and then you would get a bunch of files in a folder called MultiMC. Your executable is this one that says MultiMC. You're going to open that up and run that, and that gives you this. MultiMC Minecraft version. This is the launcher. Um, a couple things. This is my modded instance. Before you start, you need to create an account and put your Minecraft information in here. You'll want to hit Accounts. Click Manage Accounts, and then you would click Add an Account, and that's where you would put your Minecraft information. And then once you've added that account, it'll then come up and let you do what we need to do. So to create an instance, you click on this little thing here that says Add New Instance. It's a page with a star. We're going to name it Joe's Server. We're going to be running Minecraft 1.6.4. So you want to scroll down and find that in the list. Click on 1.6.4. Click OK. Then click OK again. OK, it created it. Now, since we're going to do a modded server we need to install minecraft forge mod loader so we're going to edit the instance we need to select the one we want hit edit and then we want to say install forge now it's going to come up and give us a whole list of different forge versions we want to install forge version 9.11.1965 that's the version ours on our server that's the version we need so we click that Click OK. There it is, Forge installed. Okay, so that's pretty much it for setting that part of it up. Click Close to make sure that that's where we want it. And it's loaded and everything works. Double click the icon, it loads up Minecraft. As you can see, it's got three mods loaded. There's your Forge mod loader, and it's ready to go. You're ready to edit and add your mods. So we're going to quit that, and then what you want to do is to get my mod pack, you'll want to go to this link, which I'll put down in the description, so you can just click on it. And then you will want to download the file. You should get that. That's the Dropbox, is the link you can see is up there. Joe's mod pack, hit download. You get the download. It's going to give you a file. You'll unzip it. You're going to get a file. This is Joe's mod pack. Inside there, you have the config files and the mod files. So, what you want to do to make this simple Joe's server, you go back to your multi MC launcher and you say instance folder. Here's where all your files are stored. You're going to click Minecraft. There's your config file and your mods file. You're going to want to delete both of those. And then you're going to want to copy and paste both of these. Into that instance folder. Copied. Now we're pasting. Paste it over. Perfect. If you use any resource packs, I recommend Sortec Fanver. 
um, you would put that in here. It makes everything look all pretty, which I will show you in a minute. So there's that that we just created. This is the same thing, but with the Sortec Fanber resource pack. Okay, so as you can see, we have it here loaded up. Minecraft version, Forge, FML, MCP, 109 mods loaded. Now we're going to click. I'm going to do multiplayer because I'll show you the server. Okay, guys, so here's our server. Currently loaded, running, and playable. And as you can see, we have 28 frames per second. That's because everything's still loading. All the chunks are loading. And it's also because I'm recording this at the same time. But still running smoothly. Stable frames. Nice, smooth, clean with Sortec Famber. Another thing to note when you create this instance, you will want to click Settings up here, Change Settings, and then you want to click Java. This is where you will have your RAM settings, uh, your minimum RAM, your maximum amount of RAM, and your perm gen. What that means is that's a permanent amount of RAM that you set for it to use. You don't want to set that to the maximum because if you do, it will use up all of your RAM and that's not good. That will cause your that will cause problems with your computer. So I allocated two gigs. And then I used my maximum amount, which is 6 gigs. And then I did the permanent to 2 gigs. So that way it uses 2 gigs no matter what. And it'll max out at 6, which is the maximum amount of RAM. So that is the settings for that, for the, for the launcher itself. And then you'll want to go in here and you'll want to click Edit Instance. And then you'll also want to go to settings and inside there you'll want to hit java and you'll want to check memory and then it will use those same settings for the global settings i guess you would call it for the loader as you set for your ram so you want to make sure that because it'll use the ram that's available instead of using the minimum amount so i guess that's it I will put the links in the description to the download for the files and send you guys a link on Steam for this video. Hope to see you online. Bye.